My name is Shahidur Rashid. I'm a senior fellow at the International Food Policy Research Institute. Uh, one of the key responsibilities I have here is to manage the analytical support project to the Ethiopian Agricultural Transformation Agency. We have an acronym for that project. We call it RIP, R-E-A-P, Research on Ethiopian Agricultural Policies. Overwhelming majority of Ethiopians are employed in agriculture. More than 75% of the people, 80% of these are smallholders with less than two hectares of land. Now that has to change. Uh, you cannot continue to employ people in agriculture. Question is how? You need to transform that agriculture, find alternative employment in other sectors, but it has to come organically. Change has to come within agriculture. If you can generate surplus for the farmers in agriculture, they will be able to keep their children in school and a generation later to be transformed. They don't have to go back to agriculture so the farm size can gradually get bigger and the productivity can be higher. And that's the way you see the development process. Late Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Meles Zenawi, contacted Gates Foundation to support his uh, agricultural agenda. So following that request, uh, Gates Foundation conducted a series of consultation and decided to initiate a set of studies. And the studies were done in partnership with the national and international organization, but IPRI was the lead. So IPRI has been a natural partner in the evolution of the ATA. I see two levels of impact pathways. At the country level, ATA has the mandate to work on solving the systemic problems. And IPRI as a partner, IPRI's role is to provide policy research support. At the global level, since it's a unique program, it's an experiment, the knowledge, uh, experience that you gather from here will be published, which will be a global public good from which other countries can learn and the development partners can learn. I have done quite a bit of field work in Ethiopia and in many other developing countries uh, working at IPRI, and I see changes that is, that is promising. It's a unique project. Yes, there is a commitment from the government, there is a commitment from the development partners, and there is a very committed team of people working for the ATA. But it is still an experiment. And what the focus of the partner should be at this stage, I think, is to remain true to the end goal. End goal is changing the lives and livelihood of smallholders and resolve the problems as they arise so that we can claim success some years later.